One night I was I was hospitalized for about 10 days. They tried about 13 different medications over me, right? What was wrong? What happened? My blood pressure was going up and down. Um, they had me on stroke watch because I was having stroke symptoms, but they couldn't find a stroke. Oh. How's it family? Okay, I'm so excited today. First of all, we're out here in the sun, get some good vitamin D. I know y'all cold. <laughs> by the time you watch this, but that's okay because we are here with the earth dealer. Let me tell you something. I met this gentleman and I was just too thrilled because he was talking about something called Irish moth. I was like, first of all, I know everything there is to know and I haven't heard of this stuff. I was like, is this spirulina? Is it chlorella? Like, what is this? Why should I care about it? And he was like, oh no. And then his name was so intriguing, the earth dealer. I was like, well, it's something from the earth. Like, what is this company? <laughs> what am I doing? And he was, oh. He, he's so into helping other people and especially getting them healed in alternative ways. And I'm all about that. Just doing things to better ourselves holistically. So I'm connecting you. So please sit back because we have a lot to learn today because yes. I'm, I'm ready to learn too. We're going to learn about some Irish sea moss. So without further ado, the earth dealer. <laughs> Thank you oh, for joining me out here. Peace, 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 peace. peace. So I'm glad to be here. It is. Yes, but we want to know, is. first of all, um, mm -hmm. why do you consider yourself the earth dealer? What okay. is this all about? All right. Um, there's a passage in the Bible where, um, where Christ met a man by the roadside. He was blind. Long mm -hmm. story short, um, by healing the man, he, he took dirt. He said in the Bible, he said he took some dirt, spit in it, and put it on the man's eyes. Oh. All right, yeah. and he gave the man vision. All right, now the onlooker didn't necessarily know. He, they called it a miracle. So to them, he just took dirt and put it on his eyes. But to me, I, I looked at it as, okay, he was a herbalist and he took dirt and gave the man healing and the vision of it. So what I do as a, what, what, my, what my calling is and my passion is to give people the right perspective on how they approach their life from a holistic perspective. Oh. All right. So you're looking at the whole, whole picture. Holistic. Detox your mind, detox your body, detox your spirit. Well, with that being said, <laughs> okay. So you have to explain to us what is Irish sea moss. Oh, okay. Please tell us. All right. So Irish sea moss, just to give you the general definition, it's a type of algae that mm -hmm. grows in the sea, usually most most prevalent in the Atlantic Ocean, and it grows from Ireland all the way down to the Caribbean, okay? Oh. And there's different types of sea moss, oh. all right? Um, it's, it's like I said, a name for a sea vegetable. Mm -hmm. It has 92 minerals in it. Um, the reason why I'll say it has up to 92 minerals in it because there's so many different types of sea moss. Minerals only come from the dirt or, or whatever environment that the plant grows in, mm -hmm. all right? So the plant itself never generates those minerals. So what gives it the mineral content is the mineral richness of the ocean that it's in. Mm. My particular brand of sea moss comes from, from um, St. Lucia. And St. Lucia is probably where the least amount of pollution is and the richest ocean is. So you can probably get the 92 minerals from my particular sea moss. But it's a whole lot of different types of sea moss and what gives it its nutrients is the environment that it grows in, which is the sea. Oh. But it makes minerals water soluble. So sea moss is a type of sea vegetable. Right. Sea moss is a sea vegetable. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right. And an there's algae. different types. Right. Any 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 sea vegetable that that attaches itself to to rock uh -huh. and grows, that's 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 the moss. That's considered considered that's, sea moss. That's considered sea oh. moss. Oh. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. Because mm -hmm. I was like, what is Irish sea moss? A type of sea vegetable that grows all the way from Ireland mm -hmm. all the way down through the Caribbean and there's different types of mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So and he gets hers from a more cultured area where there's not a lot of pollution. Because right. our ocean's going through things. Yes. Oh that's good. Yeah. No, so but no, but we wanna know, um, so when when did this passion for sea moss, when did this happen? Like um, why are you so educated about About this? sea moss? Yeah. Why well, did you get interested? Um, I went through some things. All right, so I would say I was about 35 years old. I was laying in a hospital bed. I was close to 300 pounds. I was, um, oh. I had ailments that a man in his 60s should have, you know, just from just bad maintenance of my body. And 
I, the doctor was trying to put me on different medications. I knew about all the side effects. I said to myself, I'm not gonna do any medications. One night I was I was hospitalized for about 10 days. They tried about 13 different medications on me, right? What was wrong? What happened? My blood pressure was going up and down. Um, they had me on stroke watch because I was having stroke symptoms, but they couldn't find a stroke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Oh my God. But basically it was just, it was, they couldn't figure out what it was. The nurse came in and told me, she said, listen, if you want to be healthy, you're going to have to take a holistic approach and go see a holistic professional. And that's what I did. And I left the hospital that night. And I started to educate myself. What, a books. nurse told you that? To seek alternative means? Yep. Oh, they because they you don't, weren't about said, that medicine. Right. She said the doctors, these doctors don't know what's wrong with you. She said they're oh. taking your symptoms, they're Googling it, then they give you a pill and see how you respond. That's what she told me. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> what oh, should wow. I do? Or, what should I do, Oracle? <laughs> and, that, and the Oracle told me, she said, go and see a holistic professional. And she told me about cayenne pepper. That was the first herb that I got. And I bought it from a grocery store and I started to use cayenne pepper. Now I know about that. You got to tell us about cayenne because people with heart issues, I tell oh, them. Oh, cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper conditions the soft tissue in your body the soft tissue is is soft muscle fiber is is your heart your veins your cardiovascular system you know all of your organs pretty much are comprised of soft tissue soft muscles and it sends circulation to those soft tissues mm. and it relaxes them as well all right and it, and it also thins your blood and makes it easier for your body yes. to pump and it, and it dilates your blood vessels as well so it's, it literally takes your blood pressure down and puts a lighter load on your heart wow so he got him some cayenne y'all put in my um apple cider vinegar in the morning yes it's really good yes okay so we oh well, i didn't know you had this story mm -hmm. where you were sick and mm -hmm. so you did go the holistic route right did someone okay. introduce you to see moss or as mm -hmm. you were going to see a holistic a roster told me about sea moss. It is actually, I wouldn't say a miracle vegetable, but it's one of the last places on earth where the vegetables have the mineral content that your body needs. Okay, now back in the days, we had that in the ground, but mm -hmm. now we have commercial farming and they're not going through the natural process of farming, so they're stripping the ground of all its nutrients. The sea is the place, the last place that they cannot take the nutrients from. So that's why sea moss is such a strong vegetable. Oh. Because of the environment that it grows in. Oh. So what, have you been taking it for years now or? Uh, the sea moss I've been taking for about two years. Two years? Yeah, two years I've been doing sea moss. Okay. So how's your health now? I'm like, I'm like 18 years old in the body, but 41 on paper. <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> I'm 41 on what? paper, but I'm definitely 18. Y'all want to run some ball? You want <laughs> what you want to do? I, I got you any day, anything. Wait, so is this how you just said, okay, mm -hmm. I want to start sharing this with people? I was already doing that. Oh, you know, I I've been helping so many people, mm -hmm. and they would say I was helping my family. My mother, my mother was about to get a knee replacement. Okay, I introduced her to black seed oil. I got her to detox her body with the cayenne pepper, use the black seed oil and things like that. Now she that was years ago. She's you know, she didn't get the knee replacement. I was helping my co-worker. He had high blood pressure and he was like, shout out to my man, shout out to uh to, to Noel Primus. Respect. <laughs> shout out. But yeah, he the one who would encourage me, man, you should you should do your herbal business. You should do an herbal business. Oh. And I was waiting, you know, sometimes we procrastinate because yes. we wait for everything to be right. Yes. And things just start rolling and God's been good. That's what? really all I can say. Wait, can you tell us the benefits of black seed oil? Because I get that question oh. a lot. So I'm glad he's here. Okay. So he could tell you what okay. is it? Why, you know, why should we be using it? Okay. I'll tell you what. Black seed oil, brief summer, and brief, just to give you one baseline thing that it does and I tell you why that's important it deals with the inflammation in the body okay mm -hmm. inflammation is the baseline cause for majority of disease oh. all right 
Now, if you deal with the inflammation, I'm talking about in your lymphatic system, on your kidneys, your cardiovascular system, everywhere in your body deals with inflammation. When if you deal with that inflammation, you can start moving towards a more healthy existence. Mm. All right. You know, I could tell you about the molecular compound of black seed oil, but just just deal with that inflammation first. Just know it's going to deal with that inflammation. If you have knee joint pain, mm -hmm. tooth tooth pain, um, if you're dealing with with um, high blood pressure, it takes it, it, it. That's another thing it does. It deals with the high blood pressure. There's a chemical in it called thymoquinol. Thymoquinol is a compound that goes directly to the heart. As soon as you take it, it goes directly to your heart and then to your cardiovascular system. All right, it's similar to cayenne pepper, all right, but it nourishes the, the soft tissue walls inside of the heart. So your heart pumps a lot smoother. Oh. And it helps the heart pump. And it also takes the, the, the extra mucus and it breaks down the plaque inside of your, inside of your cardiovascular system, all right? So that's black seed oil. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. tell us about how to use sea moss. Okay. Now, when it comes to your skin, sea moss, sea moss opens your, your cardiovascular system, okay? And, 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 and makes your skin more water absorbent. All right, so the water on, and, the, and the hydration automatically goes to the surface of your skin when you start to take the sea moss. All right, and also once you have all of the minerals that you need, your skin pays for what happens internally. Mm -hmm. So if you're lacking a mineral, your body's gonna say, man, we need this mineral, we need this. We can't deal with the skin right now. So once you have adequate minerals, your skin automatically benefits because now your body can rebuild the skin and re give that elasticity back to the skin that is forsaken because you're not getting the minerals that you need. Now also, your skin is also very absorbent and sea moss is very absorbent. You can put it on your skin as well and it nourishes your skin directly. All right. Really? I've, I've, I've had, I've tested it on people. I've dealt with stretch marks. I've dealt with scars. I've dealt with, mm. with dry skin. I've dealt with the symptoms of eczema. All right. Wow. Already. And this has just been in the last two months. So sea moss and, sun and black sea together with the right mixture of other things mm -hmm. can be very powerful. Wow. Mm -hmm. So ladies, we might need to be looking into this. Yes. You know, you we already fine. But there ain't nothing wrong but to put something on to make us more fine. Right, <laughs> right, to give you that shine and that nice oh, radiance. it's a beauty secret. Yeah. I love it. Right, that's, that's part of my regimen. That's how I take some of the time to click back the clock a little bit. Yes, and he doesn't even look like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm 14. <laughs> He doesn't look that, oh, okay, so it would tell us, you know, because he offers a lot of products, and it's really good to know where your products come from. I mean, I do go to a lot of health food stores, and I'm always looking on the back. I'm like, well, what is going on? Because you never know. So can you tell us the type of products that we can get from you? Okay. Um, I recommend everyone to start with me to, to do a detox, and I, I, the first product I'll probably offer to you is a bitter. I have women's wellness bitters. Oh. Also have men tonic bitters. What are the benefits of bitters? Bitters clean. Bitters clean the lymphatic system, cleans the liver, and it also cleans the gut. Like you're not doing a true detox unless you're cleaning your liver. Your liver is your filter. Mm. Your kidney is also a secondary filter. All most of your most of the hormones that operate in your body, the compound, the molecular compound starts inside of the liver. Your liver can be up to 97% damaged before you even notice any symptoms. Oh my gosh. So you have to clean the liver. Most people focus on the gut, but the liver is the utmost important. Mm. Right. So you have bitters and mm -hmm. then what else? Um, I also sell uh, black seed oil um, uh, and the sea moss. Of course, we already just talked about sea moss and black seed oil. Mm -hmm. um, I have maca which is another thing for pre-workout for men. Oh, really? Yeah, maca is a uh, South American herb. Well, it's not an herb, it's actually a vegetable, a yam, and it grows in South America. The Aztecs used to use, used to eat the maca before they go to war and before they made love. Really? Yes, it's an Afrodisiac, but that'll be in my winter line. 
Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Well, thank you for schooling us on all of that information. I feel like I kind of <laughs> understand a little bit more. And I am definitely going to be looking into sea moss and putting it on my skin. Because y'all know mm -hmm. my struggles with my skin. But yes. OK, you have to tell us where can we find you? How do we connect? You know, how do we find your products? Because we might want to find okay. out and, and get connected to him. All right, well, I, um, my website is earthdealer.net. Mm -hmm. Um, you go up there, you'll see some of my products on my website. My Instagram is um, earth underscore dealer on Instagram. Um, and the Facebook, I'm not even sure what the Facebook is. I think the Facebook is, uh, if you put in the hashtag earth underscore dealer, you, I should pop up somewhere, you'll see me. It's only one earth dealer on the planet. You ain't got to use, Google me, you, I'll <laughs> pop up, all right? Um, and also my email, theearthdealer at gmail.com. Oh, great. Um, anyway, you know, but you, you go to those three places, you can be able to find me, or I'll find you. Oh, wow. Well, at the end of the day, thank you so much. <laughs> this was great. You guys need to connect because he's got a lot of information, and this was really good. I am really going to check out some of these extra supplements and the detox. I love that because some of you ask me all the time, and I have a person here with the knowledge. I'm sure he would answer any questions that you have. Yay. So that being said, I'm going to let you say some final words, and we are out. Like and share. What a final <laughs> words would you like to say? Um, let the herbs of the earth be your medicine. Take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your soul. The only way to master anything is to teach. So once you learn, you tell somebody about what you learn and what's making your life better. Ooh, I like it. All right, Healthy Fit Family, you heard it here first. I should see a lot of you going and getting some Irish sea moss. Oh, no, he said detox first. Please like and share and tell other people that are really looking for solutions. Change your mindset. I really like that. I'm gonna have to use it because a lot of people don't um understand.